So they asked me like eight years ago now, I guess maybe ten years ago, to take a photo with my Chick-fil-A uniform. I think it was something in high school. I was a manager um, my senior year, and so they were like, this would be really neat to have this for the school. Um, little did I know it would be blown up into a life-size portion of myself and stay in the school for close to ten years. Um, it's been a really neat thing to kind of see my progress even through Chick-fil-A and still know a lot of people in the Deer Park area and kind of as I grew in Chick-fil-A they would still send me some pictures of my picture and say hey are you still with Chick-fil-A? Um, so it was neat to get a call and say hey are you still with Chick-fil-A? And so um, yeah that's the answer now and probably will be for the rest of my life. Um, I love the company and I'm really excited um, to have seen just my growth from this picture to now um, and so we'll see what happens in another 10 years. I'm the owner operator of the Chick-fil-A in Clear Lake Shores, it's the Kima Chick-fil-A. So co-op was mainly for me when I was going to work at Chick-fil-A in high school and so a lot of the things I picked up from there was more towards how to be a responsible worker in high school, so getting to work on time, getting to work in my uniform, getting to work um, it with everything that I needed for that day and I think some of those just basic level things that help be responsible at such a young age really have helped throughout my career. Um, I think there's some basic things that these classes teach you that help really set a foundation for what you're going to do in the future and what you're going to do in college and so some things like showing to work on time. Um, it, those really things don't take any talent, um, but I think that they're really missed in the workplace. And I think whenever you go into college um, and you kind of can utilize some of those responsibility things that you've learned from um, classes like this in high school, then I think that that's gonna be huge for helping you in your career. Um, so for me, it's definitely the people. Um, I love my team, I love my customers. Um, I definitely love being able to come into work every day and see this team that we've kind of created to help serve guests in the community. We always say that we're in the um, people business, not necessarily the chicken business, but um, we get to serve a lot of chicken, so that's pretty good too. I think I definitely had a different path than most. Um, I would say I had a challenging job throughout my time at Chick-fil-A, so I traveled the country for 30 months um, and went to 19 different states over the course of that time and lived on the road, lived in rental cars, lived in hotels, and so I definitely did something that most people don't do to be able to get to where I'm at, and so I think that that's something that people forget about as they're going throughout their career is that they don't want to get in those uncomfortable roles and uncomfortable jobs. Um, and so, yeah, I was uncomfortable for about 30 months of my life. Um, and it was definitely something that took me out of my comfort zone and um, helped me get to where I'm at today, which was awesome. Yeah, for sure. I think that the time spent in the co-op class of just being able to get some of that base foundation, but also the time that they allow you to go and work. I think that's huge um, that you can kind of go and be in your field potentially. I mean, I was very lucky to be able to be in my field at a young age, but um, other people can kind of go and discover what they are good at and maybe what they're not so good at and so I think that that's huge um, for the co-op portion um, to be able to go and work and experience some things outside of school. Um, I would say definitely just give it your all at whatever you're doing so whether that may be that you're going and trying into a field that you are interested in and you don't know if that's something that you're going to be um, doing long term or if that's something that you are going to be doing long term like go all for it and see if that's something that's going to be a career path for you if you just kind of halfway do it and say it's just a class and it's just something um, that you're not going to be all in for then I don't think you're going to get the most out of it so definitely something pursue it hard and if it ends up working out like me then um, that's great if not then you kind of pursued something to be able to open a door to something else which I think is also really good. BCTE strong.